Good morning guys and welcome to the vlog. It is currently Saturday morning and we have just been for a short walk and now we are going to pick up some freshly baked bread for breakfast and uh, probably some fika as well. We'll see what they have when we get there. But yeah, today we are going to have a lot of projects for the balcony. I got the new flowers in and also some curtains for the glass. So yeah, that's what we want to do today. It is now time to prepare the balcony for summer and <laughs> yeah, I bought some bigger pots and then two olive trees and then some lavender and uh, yeah, I guess I will help, help with everything as usual. So yeah, let's do this. Yes, Luna are now ready to show you the balcony oh, and here comes Nova. And yeah, I am really pleased with it. So here is... And then I actually put a lamp up here that I got last year when it's my birthday and yeah. This view I am really happy about. So it is two olive trees and then some lavender down there. And now it's time for some lunch. I made a quick salad with topped with some beans and then a slice of the delicious bread with some Philadelphia. And here comes Nova to join me. So I'm just sitting here eating my lunch and then Nova comes and gets herself a little cave in the blanket so yeah <laughs> hey <laughs> It is now afternoon and uh, that means time for fika in Sweden, at least in our home. So I have prepared to make a rhubarb pie with some strawberries. Uh, I have uh, actually frozen both frozen rhubarb and frozen strawberries. So I have defrosted them and I defrosted the strawberries and then cut them into smaller pieces, almost like a mash. And uh, yeah, I will add them now to the mixture of uh, rhubarb. So here is everything I will be needing. So this is rhubarb, some um, potato starch, 
cardamom, cinnamon, and sugar, and that I just mixed together. And the uh, starch is just to make, uh, since it's a bit wet from the freezer, so it makes it a, a bit drier in the pie. And in the background, I'm of course watching Stockholm Marathon, uh, since I'm quite a running nerd. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, I will also add some flour and some oatmeal and uh, some oats. I mean, of course, not oatmeal and uh, some um, vanilla. And to top it all off, I will add some brown sugar. So this will also make it a bit more uh, caramel tasting on top and also give it a beautiful color. bit later now and I'm actually about to go for a walk well there are two that are sleeping now <laughs> See you soon. Oh my, and here is someone awake too. Oh, did I wake you up? Oh my goodness. Is it washing time for the ear? <laughs> oh, tummy yummy. Another tummy yummy. Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> Okay, I guess it's washing up time. I mean, it is it is Saturday afternoon, so you gotta be looking pretty, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> yes. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm gonna let you sleep now. Bye. Oi, proceed. See you soon. And now there's washing over here too. Yeah, anyways...
Now I'm about to head out and then we are going to tackle all the blinds for the balcony. This is what we bought. Today I am outside and just putting up all of the sticky ones. Let me see if I can show you. You can see the white ones there. Yeah, they are the holder. And so they are going up today and then they will dry for 24 hours and then you can put up the rest so yeah that's what we're doing right now and i will show you tomorrow when i uh, assemble this good morning guys it is now time for breakfast and i have some overnight oats and then topped it with apples raisins and pumpkin seed and then i have some juice and of course a cup of coffee to that today is a longer run on the schedule so therefore i'm eating breakfast before training and uh, since it's not that hot outside i can also train a little later in the day and uh, yeah to get the best out of the day i will actually do my reset routine first before i go run then i also have time to um digest the breakfast and also I get a, a sort of warm-up for the run while I clean. So. <laughs> yeah, as you saw the bed was occupied so I guess I would have to wait, wait with making the bed so let's start in the bathroom instead. Hello Liza, how do you do? I'm writing you a letter, I hope it reaches you I know it's been a long time since you heard from me I'm still kicking around here in Tennessee I heard you got a new place, I heard you got a new job I heard you got a hair And it looks real nice Are you ever lonely? Do you ever think of me? I heard you got a new name I hope it treats you right And before you toss this letter away There's something that I've got to say And aeroplane shooting across the sky can surely take your body to a new place for a while. But some things stay no matter where you go. Do you still love me, Liza? We turn inside Try to find a good thing 
We can stand behind All my friends tell me She's the one that got away But you never left me Like a ghost to your stay There's nothing else worth thinking of When you find the one you love Now I'm home again and uh, it was just over 11 kilometers and 1 and 20 and yeah let me show you. here you can see okay. so I try to incorporate a lot of uh, zone 2 training um, to build a uh, good aerobic base for the half marathon race that I'm going to do in August later this year so yeah now it's time for a big green after run smoothie that was a mouthful but yeah <laughs> let's do it Some banana, frozen spinach, protein powder, and some spices. And that's about it. Now I'm gonna go and take a shower and then change and then probably have some lunch. Probably meal prep and do the overnight oats for the breakfast for the coming week. <music> uh, now it's time to put up the blinds. And as you can see, I have sorted them and uh, we have actually one that is up already because we needed to try. So it looks good, you know. So we tried with this one. Let me show you like so. Yeah, so you, as you can see, here are the strings. So they are, will have on one side and then these pieces, they go uh, on the wall and then you stick it in here. And this one is the the ones that go in here so this one you put here and then you mount this one like that here you can see a bit more what you can use and here are if you put it up on the window up and around and just clip it but we will go with this when you take off this piece that are sticky and then you mount it on the wall and then you put you take those pieces off that I have here and then yeah you just assemble it and put it up so and these ones you can also trim if needed I will link them down below uh, they are from Amazon and uh, yeah anyways let me finish this and show you the result so it is going to hang like this and then you can see that this is slightly flat on the bottom so here that's the way it's supposed to be uh, to the wall like this so it's really important to not put it like so because then the curtain will hang down a bit so roll it up as long as you want to have it and then you put this one in
and there we go now we have some sun protection on the balcony which is gonna be great the morning sun comes in here so it gets really hot so now we can pull this down about halfway they will go down to the fence and yeah maybe not my prettiest work and they are a little bit wonky but hey it was from amazon and i am pretty pleased with it so this and that one over here is mounted on the glass because we need to be able to open uh, see if we can show you you see the opening there yes but the other ones they are mounted on the on the wall on the balcony construction yeah so this is how it looks right now <laughs> Nova is doing something stupid as usual. Hey, did you find a fly or something? Yes, she loves. It comes in a bit of wind here. So yeah, it's really nice for her. So, um, yeah, as you've seen before, these are the updated flowers. And here are the lavender and then the trees. So yeah. <laughs> Good morning from future me. I just wanted to show you how the balcony looks in the morning. So now it is 7.53 in the morning, so 10 to 8. And, and the sun is high up on the sky already. And as you can see, there are actually a lot of shadow in here. And uh, normally at this time of the day, we can not be here. But uh, as you can see, it is pretty good and of course it is warm. But um, yeah, this will make the biggest of difference. It's not the best work I have done, but it is doing the job. So really pleased with it. Anyways, back to the video. For all of you who have seen my vlogs before, you know that I eat this for breakfast. So I have overnight oats with uh, protein powder, black pepper, uh, cardamom, cinnamon, gin uh, turmeric and ginger. And then I just put it in these small containers and then I put water in it. I may, will make two at a time, so Monday and Tuesday and then I will say Wednesday and Thursday. and fill them up with water on Tuesday night. So I have raisins, walnuts, chia seeds, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. So yeah, this is a really filling and good breakfast. And if I didn't say it, I also have some protein, of course. And uh, this time I used some pea protein with the taste of apple pie and it is absolutely delicious and that's why I use these two because that makes it taste just like an apple pie so yeah. anyways here are we are making progress over here as well so this will be a sort of bolognese uh, with red lentils and then I have some rice this so Yes, this is what we're working with and then I will top my containers with a blend of frozen vegetables. Makeup brushes are 
clean, pat and dry and then slightly buffed. Now they will air dry until tomorrow morning. And uh, as you saw, I have this uh, cup. It's actually glass from IKEA. They are very handy for everything. But in here I keep all the used brushes and then I have a big one that's actually also from IKEA. But here are clean brushes. So I will put all of them in here and then for next week, whatever I will choose to use, I will put in the IKEA glass. So that's how I keep uh, clean brushes and used brushes separate. There we go. Meal prep for the week is done. It is breakfast and lunch. And as I told you, I fill two of these up with water. So they are they are almost ready. You can see they have soaked up all the water and then I just fill this as the week goes and then I have some fruits and then the lunch and I also added the frozen vegetables and also some organo and thyme and I will probably have some more fruit I love to have the bananas in the afternoon and then apples to the oatmeal in the morning so I will probably buy some more fruit tomorrow after work but for now, this is the final product and I think I'm done for today. So um, I'm just gonna go find the kittens and then go outside, I think.